think you should be Jet Infinite Army, welcome to today's brand new video, WWE Survivor Series War Games 2023 predictions with Jade Infinite. Check out King's Kings Avenue Apparel. Uh, link down below in the description. Make sure you guys click the first link in the description, which is going to take you over to King King's Apparel uh, Avenue Apparel dot com forward slash question mark equals referral uh referral equals jada infinite uh click that special link in the top of the description and uh this is the website it will take you to uh it will take you to this website right here wait for it and it should take you to a site that looks something like this if i can get it up how's it not all right so it should take you to the site just like this that sells all kind of cool shirts. Right now he's selling the King's Apparel Varsity Jacket for about $124.50. And right now he's also selling the other Varsity Jacket that's the King's Apparel Hustle Hotter Varsity for $110.49. So... He's selling some cool stuff. He's selling some cool shirts. And he, he recently sold this during the Halloween season. Uh, cool Halloween shirts. He got King Apparel's uh, black t-shirt. He has the pink t-shirt. He also has the red t-shirt, the white t-shirt. And he even has a, uh, one for cancer uh, wearing this month or whatever. And uh Yeah. And uh, that's one of my affiliates for, uh, I'm an ambassador for King's Apparel. So that's why, that's why I wanted to shout out at the very beginning of today's video. So you're like, where's the, where's the Survivor Series predictions? There we go. I'm going to go ahead and get back to it. So, uh, here we go, guys. There we go. So I'm going to start off. I'm going to get in my WWE, my WWE information from WWE.com. There's no copyrighted content included so obviously you guys already know what i want to do so the first match is going to be the men's war games match obviously you already know who's returning for that none other than randy order so some people are saying steampunk is coming let me let me go and bust your book he's not going to be coming to this uh pay-per-view I'm sorry that I want to tell you, don't get your hopes up. Don't get your hopes up for nothing. That Steam Punk is coming to Chicago. He's not. So now that we got that out the part, let me go. Let me go. Let me go ahead and tell you guys the other matches on the match card. And uh, if you hear me uh, cough in this video or anything, I'm still not feeling 100%. Uh, so next match, uh, let me let me go ahead and tell you guys who's gonna win the men's uh. It means war games match. So I'm going with Team Cody for this one. I'm not a big fan of uh the Judgment Day. Uh I think that Drew McIntyre is cool being in with the Judgment Day, but I just think that we should go with Team Cody for this match. Um but after the match, I expect Jay Uso to get RKO'd out of his socks. Even even if it happens during the match, I, I really do think it's too late for Team Cody to get back into this one and win. I think with the judgment they will win if Randy Orton does RKO J Uso. But I'm recording this one hour before SmackDown, so everything could change with the whole War Games match or other matches could be added or whatever happens. But next match we have is uh Women's World Champion Rhea Ripley versus uh um Zoe uh Zoe Stark. Um, so let me go on and bust. Let me go on and say why Rhea Ripley won't be dropping the title during this match. She will not be dropping the title during this match because she's going to be retaining as well. And um, there won't be no title changing hands, changing hands on this pay per view at all. I expect Rhea Ripley to retain against Zoe Stark, but good luck to her anyway. I wish she could win the match, but hell, we we be 
we'd be lied to if we were were to get a new women's champion. We would, we would be all lied to if that was to happen. So, moving on to the next uh, championship match, maybe the last championship match on a match card, maybe. Uh, we have the Intercontinental Champion Gunter versus the Miz. Obviously, Gunter is going to retain anyway. I'm sorry to say, Miz, but you will not be be you will not be uh, becoming the nine-time Intercontinental Champion, unfortunately. So, I'm sorry to say that, but that won't happen either. So. Unfortunately, that won't happen. So, obviously, next up we have Becky Lynch. We have we have Team Becky Lynch versus Team Bailey. Obviously, uh, basically damage control in a women's war games match. Obviously, you guys already who I y'all y'all already know who I want to win. I want Team Bianca to win, but unfortunately, that's not really going to happen. They're gonna they're gonna just. They're gonna swerve us and have damage control win, obviously. Some shit like that, but I really would want Team Bianca to win, but that I don't see that happening. But I could be lied to or wrong, or my predictions aren't hundred percent right if that's true or false, but also I just wanna wish y'all I wanna I wanna uh say that if you guys had a fantastic Thanksgiving weekend or if you had a fantastic uh if you had a Oh, hopefully you guys had a fantastic Thanksgiving weekend. I did, but I wasn't a hundred percent. But moving on to the last match uh, of the match card, we have uh, Carlito taking on Santos Escobar. Obviously, Santos Escobar is winning, unfortunately. But I expect this match to be on a kickoff show. Obviously, Santos Escobar is going to win with maybe some help, or I can really see. One or two things happening, some interferences in this match, and I guess uh, Santos Escobar will win. And uh, unfortunately, that's how it's going to end. But let me guys, let me show you guys the opponents of the men's War Games match. So let's start off with Team Cody. We have Cody Rhodes himself. We have Seth Rollins. We have Jay Uso. We have Randy Orton. We have Sami Zayn. And then we have Team Judgment Day. We have Van Balor. We have Damian Priest. Obviously, Miss. Uh, Mr. Money in the Bank, or, yeah, Mr. Money in the Bank, we have J.D. McDonough, we have Drew McIntyre, we have Dirty Dom, don't forget about him. Obviously, Drew McIntyre is not in Judgment Day, but, yeah. If if that's true at the making of this video, let me know. But, here are all the opponents on the side if you don't, if if I didn't say I'm right. Uh, but, you guys, you can, you can pause the video and read for yourself, but, uh, here's, here's, uh, Raquel, uh, no, not Raquel. What, what am I saying? What am I saying? Here is, uh, Rhea Ripley's opponent. We have Zoe Stark. Obviously her challenger for her championship. Yep. And then we have Gunter's, uh, challenger for his championship. The Miz, the one and only Miz. I'm, I'm liking the face turn. I'm, I'm liking the face turn for Miz. It's actually really good on Miz, but... I never actually found myself to be a Miz fan, but him being a good guy is actually cool. It's funny. But we have the women's team. We have Team Bianca. We have, my, we have my, one of my favorites in the front. We have Bianca. We have uh, the man, Becky Lynch. We have the clean Charlotte Flair. Woo! Yeah, of course. We have uh, Chelsea. And then we have Team Damage Control. We have Oscar, we have Eo Sky, we have the return of Kyrie Sane, and we have Bailey. Yeah, of course. And last but not least, we have Carlito and his challenger, Santos Escobar. Obviously, my boy Santos is going to win, unfortunately. I still support Santos, even though he turned to a bad guy. I still support my boy Santos Escobar. I don't know that much about Carlito. Sorry. But I think. I personally think that Santos is winning. I'm, unfortunately, I think that. But that is it for the entire match card. When this baby will be starting, it will be starting. Obviously, 8 p.m. for the main show. And my time is on Eastern time, of course. I believe it will be 7 p.m. for the kickoff. 
Let me double check on the WWE YouTube channel banner to let y'all know if that's true or false. Let me let me see here. If that's true or false. Let me double check. Let me double check before I go. So, moment of truth. That is correct. Kickoff will be at 7 p.m. 4 p.m. Pacific if you're over there in Cali. If you're on the West Coast, of course. If you're on my side, Eastern will be different than West Coast. If you're in Central, I don't know what time that will start. But, obviously, it will be different time zones. Kaberi. Kaberi. So. Um... I want to thank you guys very much for watching this incredible video. The pay-per-view will be starting tomorrow on November the 25th on football weekend. Obviously, football weekend. I know this seems hard to believe, but I'm going to be doing a live reaction to the pay-per-view. But, yeah, that's what's going to happen. Yeah. But, uh, thank you guys for watching. And I want to, I want to let y'all go. I want to let y'all know again to check out my people over at King's. Avenue Apparel link will be in the description. I have a special referral link. Click that referral link. It will say Jetty Effin in the referral link. And uh they will help you over there. And uh my friend King Stimmer will help you over there. If you have any questions, uh tell him tell him Jetty Effin is sent you to buy some of his cool shirts. Right now he's selling a varsity jacket, he's selling some cool clothes, different bearings of his shirts, like white, red. And pink and all that. He's even selling a shirt. That's to help fight for breast cancer or whatever. Awareness type of thing. But thank y'all very much for watching. And I appreciate y'all. Please do me a favor and subscribe, like, and share again. And also check out the other links I have in the description. Second link in the description, check out uh the uh, special buy me buy me coffee link. Of course, it's a it's a custom Jada Infinite link, and also try StreamYard out. And again, if you want to become a member over on Mommy Coffee, support that too. And also leave a comment. Who will win? Leave that comment down below. Check out the playlist for this entire WWE predictions and live reactions. Uh but but uh, again, all the all the matches that I've just talked about and predicted. All right, all in the description. And if you want to stay connected with me on social media, and of course promote your videos there, there's a special link at speech featuring the last link in the description. Again, there is no copyrighted content included. All right? Thank you guys very much for watching. I appreciate you. And I'll see y'all tomorrow. And again, tomorrow's live reaction will be sort of good and bad because I'm still not 100%, guys. I'm still a sick, so uh, I'm, I'm, I'm getting better slowly, but surely I am. But if anyone's wondering where I've been, I've been on the shelf for a couple days get, getting better. So thank y'all for watching. Take care. Get Infinite Army. Signing off.